Meanwhile, tonight, the scandal regarding Jeffrey Epstein continues despite his death. Chief among the questions that remain are what happens to the people who may have taken part or helped in his crimes. Also, how did he really die and what did the guards do to let it happen? The reaction on social media and around the nation has been nothing short of spectacular with conspiracy theories and outrage running amok. We begin our coverage tonight with RT's Trinity Chavez reporting from the jail where Epstein allegedly hung himself. New developments surfacing tonight as this investigation unfolds. Now the warden to this New York City correctional facility is being reassigned pending further investigation. Direct orders from the United States Attorney General. The Metropolitan Correctional Center falling under new scrutiny as details of the investigation unfolds. We are now learning of serious irregularities at this facility that are deeply concerning and demand a thorough investigation. Attorney General William Barr ordering the immediate replacement of the warden for the jail pending the ongoing investigations into the apparent suicide of Jeffrey Epstein. A spokesperson for the Department of Justice saying in a statement, today the Attorney General directed the Bureau of Prisons to temporarily assign the warden at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in New York to the Bureau's Northeast Regional Office pending the outcome of the FBI and OIG investigations into the apparent suicide of Jeffrey Epstein, a former MCC inmate. This after revelations that one of the guards on duty the night that Epstein died reportedly wasn't a regular correctional officer. According to AP, he was a temporary guard who was filling in because of of a staffing shortage. Attorney General William Barr outraged. I was appalled, and indeed the whole department was, and frankly, angry to learn of the MCC's failure to adequately secure this prisoner. The U.S. Bureau of Prisons also replacing two staffers at the jail who had been assigned to Epstein's cell unit. Those guards now on administrative leave as the probes into the death of the accused child and sex trafficker continue. CBS reporting that on the morning of Epstein's death, there was shouting and screaming coming from his cell. This only three weeks after Epstein survived a previous suicide attempt and at the urging of his defense team was taken off suicide watch two weeks ago. And while there have been cameras on the cell block where he was being held, they did not focus on individual units. So according to sources familiar with the matter, it's unlikely that there is any surveillance video of the moment of his death. This as investigators raid the alleged sex traffickers home in the Virgin Islands. Boxing up computers and other electronics in search for new evidence. Investigators also shifting focus to co conspirators. We will get to the bottom of what happened, and there will be accountability. But let me assure you that this case will continue on against anyone who was complicit with Epstein. Any co conspirators should not rest easy. The victims deserve justice, and they will get it. Investigators now focusing on British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell. She is accused of recruiting underage girls for sex, although she has repeatedly denied those claims and has not been charged with any crime. Meanwhile, according to reports, Epstein allegedly kept meticulously detailed diaries of his friendships and visits as an insurance policy. The diaries mention some of the world's most elite leaders and politicians. Now, the move to have the warden reassigned comes three days after Jeffrey Epstein was found unresponsive in his jail cell. Now, the New York City Medical Examiner's Office has conducted an autopsy, but the results are still pending. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else? In Venezuela, Kazakhstan, let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watching. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.